One of my favorite things to do in Ableton Live is to use my computer keyboard to control my Ableton session. So for example, uh, if I go into key map mode here, I've assigned V for verse and C for chorus. And this is a really, really great feature because I can really quickly and easily press a V or a C to trigger my song section. But occasionally when you try to do this, let's press V, nothing happens, press C, nothing happens. And you go, what the heck? I watched a tutorial with Will. He showed me how to key map in Ableton Live. Why is it not working? So in this video, I want to explain exactly why certain key mappings don't work in Ableton Live and how to solve them. So let's go back to our Ableton session. Just to show you what I did, if I click key map mode here or do command K or control K on my keyboard, uh, you'll see that I mapped V to this scene and C to this scene. Okay. And when I press these, let's press V. Uh, you'll see nothing happens, but you'll notice that key and our computer MIDI keyboard light are lighting up. This is actually a really great kind of reference. If this ever happens, you press a key on your keyboard and nothing happens. Look up into the right hand corner. And if you see that lighting up, both of these lighting up, then you know that you are experiencing this issue I'm talking about, which is if you try to map a key on your computer keyboard to something in Ableton Live and you have computer MIDI keyboard enabled, and that key is used for computer MIDI keyboard, then that's going to take over. So let me explain exactly what's happening. So you can see up here, we have this feature called computer MIDI keyboard. We've talked about this in a previous tutorial. In fact, I'll, I'll link to that uh, to show you how we can use this to program and enter MIDI notes on uh, our keyboard, our physical computer keyboard. Uh, this is a great feature. It takes up uh, keys A through L and some of our black notes uh, and the keys Z through B or Z through V. Uh, on our computer keyboard. And what that means is if I go and MIDI map a key that's used on my computer uh, keyboard for my computer MIDI keyboard, which is right here, uh, then this is what's going to win. So right, my computer MIDI keyboard is turned on here. If you press M by default, uh, that turns out on or off. And anything I use for key map over here for V and C, both of those are used on my computer MIDI keyboard. Uh, with the computer MIDI keyboard turned on, they're not going to work. And if I hit the computer MIDI keyboard icon, I press V now, that starts playing. If I press C, that starts playing. So if you ever run into an issue where you've key mapped certain keys on your computer keyboard and they're not working, go up to computer MIDI keyboard here, double check to make sure that that is disabled. And if you disable it, then it's gonna work perfectly. Another kind of pro tip is, is try to avoid using keys that are used on computer MIDI keyboard or just always leave computer MIDI keyboard disabled and you should be fine. Thanks so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed this content, if you use Ableton Live on stage or in the studio, then make sure you subscribe and hit the bell icon so you're notified when I post new content. I post a new video every single day at 10 a.m. Central with a uh, tip, trick, or podcast episode showing you how to better use Ableton Live on stage. Thanks so much for watching, everyone. We'll see you on the next one. Take care. Bye.